and Nelly Corda. They are unbeaten this week thanks to shots like this at the sixth. Up against a really tough duo of Caroline Headwall and Anna Nordquist. You need to do some of those kinds of things to beat that tough duo. And Lily Vu and Paige McKinsey is following along. Just 112 yards this whole location. Oh, a little bit too much spin on that one. The just 105 yards is all she had, but came out very low from that lie. All right, so the U.S. just needs a... I have this potentially moving both directions a little bit right off her feet and then potentially moving back at the end. Play experience. A good birdie look here. I have it moving a little left to right back down the hill. Yeah, to your point, Grant, somebody who's gone 5-0 and oh in a Solheim Cup match. So a Scottsdale resident page going with the long sleeve version. I mean, that's appropriate. She's adapted to the desert climbs. Uh, snapped left on her midway through that putt. Nelly now on the tee at the ninth. And this is six iron. Wind a little into, but mostly right to left. Get the maximum points. It's looking pretty good for the U.S. Headwell here on the tee at nine. This, this also a six iron. She likes this one, doesn't she? Yeah. So that's going to be the closest of the four. Missed her birdie putt. For Anna, this is relatively flat. It looks like it actually might pick up speed at the end. Mm. Yeah, pretty good for speed. So that'll be a three, guaranteed. And we have the Swedish team unbeaten. Maya Stark and Madeline Sagstrom still have not trailed in a match so far this week. A little bit of a Solheim Cup foreshadowing potential. Mm -hmm. there, I think there's a little bit of that vibe. I know the U.S. team. Yes, in the Solheim Cup, they've played together on five occasions. They've paired up in the Hanwha Life Plus International Crown as well. And Caroline's going to have to play some good golf over the remainder of the year to make that Solheim Cup team. She could, of course, be a pick for Suzanne Pedersen as well. Not happy with that. And you wonder if Suzanne's paying attention. Here's Headwall at the 10th. Even though it's in the rough, it's got a really nice lie, slightly uphill as well. Challenge though is the back right corner of the screen doesn't allow for a lot of room. I she just came really squirrely. The only five paces behind it as well. Wind helping a little bit, but left to right mostly. Yeah, just this rough is so penal. She manages to sneak it on the green, but the club was turned away. Like Nelly here is a huge premium. It is huge, but even in spite of hitting the fairway, she's got the ball quite a bit below her feet. Might play a fade off this lie. San Francisco is known for its elevation. This is a par putt for Anna Nordquist. Not much in this putt. I have it right edge. That's also what Anna had. Bad considering the whole location on the left side. This headed left though. Yeah, again, another shot two in a row there that just being in the rough, it's gonna grab the club. Here's Nelly Corder with her second at the 11th. Yeah, and just uh, trying to get a good smooth golf swing. Gosh, that tempo was really good. Yeah. Ball above her feet here, Paige. Yeah, massively difficult shot by comparison. But really nice. The Americans have played well of the matches. Nelly Corder for a birdie here at 11. Yeah, this is going to be slow. Might drip to her right at the end. Certainly gave it a whack up the hill. Barnes as well, I had my eye on him. And mine was Kings Barnes. In honor after of the one 2017 uh, AIG Women's Open. Yeah, one of my favorite golf courses. I also liked Hit Show. Lilia Vu just missing out. Completely deceptive. A 
couple of holes behind as we take you to the drivable 12th in Nelly Corda. It's only 249 to the front of this headed left. Yeah, that's in that awkward bunker. That awkward length over the bu over another bunker. Slowly going left too. Yeah, and this is our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Choosing to just lay up there. Find a number that she's comfortable with, lay it back to that, make sure you up. To 12, Caroline Headwall second. Chose iron off the tee, giving Sweden two approach shots into this green. Uh-huh. Yeah, very nice. Interesting strategy. Might An interested spectator right in between her and the hole. 72 yards, just headed right. Safely aboard. Wonderful shot. That's not something that you practice very often. Anna Nordquist at 12 for birdie. That was just a moment ago. This would be quite the up and down for birdie. Good. I haven't seen a lot of shadows the last cut coming up from about seven feet. Oh, this is just about a must make right here. Hopped a little bit on her. Oh, yeah, duck to the right. Vice versa, or mix it up some other way. Now, Lilia. It's a six iron. Wind moving left to right, but not pushing this ball at all. Straight through the wind. Oh, good shot, towering iron shot. Awesome. I mean, not you know that's hard, a format that most of the players in the field will hardly ever play. Nordquist now. Say five iron. There's no question that back over to the first match for these two countries at 13 and it's head wall. It's a six iron and a bit of a gift for the United States team. Sweden not taking advantage of the last hole. It's not a great line though. Good yeah, good shot there. Well, very likely. And that's a good try there by Lilia Vu. All they have to do is win at least half a point. Uh, should say that it is important to know who's away in match play because it's not like, oh, oh, just misses, but it's not like stroke play where people are birdie to win. So you get it to two up. Oh, a few near misses there. Lake Merced has had uh, a redo and uh, Gil Hans. Anna chose her birth date, the 10th of month of June, at 14. We've seen some great shots to this tough par four this week. There's another one. One down. This is Lily Vu at 14. to tie with the birdie. It, just an eight iron and on a really good line. Oh, I'd say that's a good line. Oh, Wonderful those, shot. Those two shots she's hit at 14 and 15. Yeah. 14's yeah. not sure. This a nine iron. Oh, the club twirl. Is it online? Yeah, she likes that one. 
further. Just inside 141. And Lilia Vu doesn't like it. Coming out of the rough ball below her feet and just flaring it out to the right. I think that's... Oh, she knew she needed to make it. So Norquist has not been conceded, Paige. In the seventh match is where we find Anna Norquist for her second shot. Yeah, it's ball slightly below her feet, but this on a good line. And given the last two approaches, this is another good one. I think she's been a total of about 10 feet yeah. for birdie. The last the second shot. Just a wedge for Nelly. Norquist was a good line. This though had just slightly right of the hole. Pretty good answer. She's had to hit. Okay. Just another huge. Lined up, got that line on her ball just on the left edge, right where she started it. Nicely done. This is high quality golf. ET. Let's go to the 17th and head wall. This is a seven iron. Nordquist already on the left portion of the green. And that one looks pretty good. All tied up in this map is going to respond from that tee shot that we saw from head wall. And that one finds the green, but a lot. Headwall here, on the other hand, has a putt to win the hole. Slightly downhill, moving from her left to right. And just enough pace, and the fist pump we see from Headwall, which we've seen before in the Solheim Cup. Remember, she was the first player in the history of the Solheim Cup to win all five matches. That was back in 2013. Together, but given that the singles matches are worth two points, the foursome is only worth one. I think we're going to end up with some really interesting matchups tomorrow. This on a great line. Oh my gosh, Anna and her iron play has just between Nordquist and Hedwell ham and egg in it. It's left very little room for the United States to try to sneak in here. And they have to win this hole. All right, so. Back the 18th. Yeah, it's been conceded. That birdie from Ada, the second one she's had here in the last hour or so that's been conceded. The iron play from Anna Nordquist coming down the stretch. We've seen it in Solheim Cup play. We've seen it in the International Crown. And we saw it again today. It's a one-up win, and they go 3-0 and for the week and hand Vu and Korda their first loss. Yeah, that means.